Ladies, gentlemen, boys, and girls, soccer fans of all ages, this is Armand Colombo Field at Rocky Marciano Stadium, where today the boxers put their undefeated record on the line against the Dartmouth Indians. As always, I'm Mad Dog Matt Nelson, bringing you all the action high above the turf here at Brockton High School. The Indians coming in at 7-2-2, two, and two, looking to upset the top-ranked in the state boxers who have quite the schedule coming up. New Bedford, Severian on the list. Coming off a three to nothing win against Bridgewater Raynham. The Indians wearing their away green jerseys, black shorts, white stripes down the side. Brockton in their home whites with red and black trim. A Little bit of a roster shakeup for head coach Herminio Furtado. Starting Claudio Mascarenas and Paulo Romalo. Their senior captain sitting out today. Junior Gomes coming off an injury. And Claudio Mendez also out of action today. This wraps up a very busy week for the boxers. Four games this week for this men's soccer team, Jonathan Rodriguez in the box with the first opportunity and unable to get a shot off. Gonna have a high kick ruled against Brockton. Free kick, Dartmouth. Monday, the Mansfield Hornets were in town facing the boxers. They faced off against New Bedford, Bridgewater, Raynham, and now Dartmouth. Not such a good day for athletic activities here in Brockton. It is warm. It is 65 degrees right now. 90% humidity. 90% humidity. As now Dartmouth has an opportunity. The shot is going to be stopped by Dalton Rocha. Sixty-two percent dew point. And there's thirty point two inches of pressure in the air. No wind, gusts of two miles an hour to the south-southeast as Owen Ribeiro makes his first save of the game. Free kick for the Indians, setting it long and deep over the top. No player for Dartmouth in the area. It's picked up by Rocha, quickly sends it off to the Brockton defense. It's Romalo sending it out of bounds. It'll be a Dartmouth throw in. Referee telling head coach Herminio Furtado that he's got to stay back on his side of the 45 yard line. Hey, gonna this one's go, gonna go against Brockton. Now we have a time. And it's gonna go against Dartmouth. So free kick for Brockton. A little bit of confusion on the field there. So free kick from the 35 yard line. Brockton thrown in front of the Brockton bench.
This one deflected to Rodriguez. And now fighting off four Indians. And Dartmouth will send it out of play. Brock in throwing. Uh, 15 yards north of the end line. able to keep it in at least initially was Jalen DeRosa before it traveled over the end line. Foot race sent back to Rocha, who clips it back towards midfield. Another free kick for Brockton. Some of the more creative fans here have brought a tent and set it up in the bleachers here at Marciano Stadium. And an offsides called against Brockton. Rodriguez can't get a foot on it. DeRosa can't make the move. It's going to be a Brockton throw in. Now he's going to go through the uprights. The kick is good. This one's sent long and deep and over the fence here surrounding Colombo Field. Well, 31 minutes left in the first half. Still scoreless between the Boxers and the Indians. Again, the Brockton coming off a 3-0 victory against Bridgewater Raynham. Rosa heading this up and almost another high kick. This one again, Striven Rodriguez, but Brockton still with it and sending it a little bit too far. Picked up by Ribeiro. Ribeiro stepped out of the goalie's box when he released that ball.
And this one sent. Into the Brockton bench. Off of Brockton. This is a wet surface. So it is misting here. Ethan Pava sending this one toward the boxer net. This one chipped out of bounds by Dartmouth. Brockton free kick, uh, free throw rather. Brockton with a little bit of a different strategy early on in this game. It's number nine has an opportunity. The ball ping-ponging around and now shanked high and wide. By Mitchell Teradash. It's Brockton with a little bit of a different strategy. A lot more long balls, different than we're used to seeing. That's Leonardo Teixeira with the cross and a goal for the boxers. Ivan Rodriguez assisted by Leonardo Teixeira and Brockton is on the board with 27.45 left in the first half. It's that little chip to the inside right there from Texera and a good hesitation by Rodriguez to put that one home. One nothing boxers. Just under 28 minutes left in the first half. Dartmouth's coach is uh, heated, to say the least. Head coach Josh Silva down there on the sidelines for the Indians, and now it's Texera again in for Brockton. His cross looking for Rodriguez. Riven Rodriguez has it, but a dangerous play against Brockton. Now Rocha sending this one out of play on the far side. Free kick for the Indians. Taken by Captain Dylan Senra and a save by Rocha. A little bit. Tyler D'Souza got the back of his head on that one and deflected it just enough to confuse Rocha. Yeah. 
little bit of a shoving match. Sent out of bounds by Brockton. Couple of substitutions for the boxers. Daniel Andrade and Junior Gomes. And Gomes coming off uh, an injury. Rolled his ankle a few games ago. Nothing major, but precautionary measures. Keep him out of a game and ease him back into action. So it's Andrade and Gomes in. On a Wielden getting ready to come into the game for the Indians. About 23 minutes left in the first half. Brockton won Dartmouth nothing. A few good opportunities for the Indians thus far. Andrade trying to send it up to Leonardo Texera who comes up a little bit lame. And now Dartmouth four on three up turf and unable to connect on the pass as it trickles out of bounds. Wielden into the game. A cross is knocked out by Rocha and Brockton able to recover and sending it out of play. right off the fingertips of Rocha there. And with plenty of room to move, just shanking the pass was number five. Louis Spinola. Now just not enough mustard on the pass for Brockton, but out of bounds off the Indians. That's Texera fighting off four Indians as he's tripped up. Usually they're real quick with moving it back and forth and back and forth and up the field, and now I just see a lot of guys just doing, doing their own thing today. We have a hurt boxer. Now Spinola's cross broken up as it's Leonardo Texera slow to get up. Now Spinola with it. Now Andrade. Gomes chipping it over the top and it's gonna be knocked out by the goaltender. And Gomes Now Cross is going to be chipped out of play through the uprights for the Indians as we take a look at that replay. Andrade to Gomes. Gomes with a short 
chip pass. And it's going to be a corner kick for the boxers. As you can see, clearly chipped out by Dartmouth. This guy doesn't know what's going on. This is a Dartmouth sub, but I heard him say corner kick, Brockton. I did. I heard him up here say Dartmouth sub. There's a lot of confusion on the field here. So I'd like to take one more look at the replay here. Can I please? Gonna have a crowd around our monitor up here. Here's a replay. Yeah, so there's the pass from Gomes. And it's oh, number 17, 17 right there. I don't know what Not even doing. close. I mean, maybe, maybe they called an offsides, but. No, it wasn't. It was the set of the That's why they have the substitution. Well, the refs missed that one. They're more concerned about having sandbags in the back of the net than they are paying attention to the game. Please. Blood. Stay tuned in the in the second half. We're gonna have everyone's favorite debate on whether high school mascots should be named after Native Americans and the and the proposed law. It's coming up in the second half. Gonna be a boxer free kick. Derek DePino was brought down hard. Short pass to the, the outside. And now a cross. Texera fighting for it, able to create a little bit of space and it takes five Indians to pry the ball loose. Dangerous play against Brockton. Free kick to be taken by the goalie Owen Ribeiro. Oh, oh, he's a flopper. And he gets right up and sprints down the other end. It's not that hurt. I'm nominating him. Academy Award. There's some sentiment from a few in attendance, not mentioning any names. I think there's a certain amount of flopping going on on the Dartmouth side. But Brockton's got to realize they're an undefeated team. They, they have to really earn the calls. They're not going to get any easy calls. Plethora of whistles. It's going to be a re-kick. So 
That's trouble. And now directly on net, but wide. Picked up by Rocha, who gets that should be a cod right there. clotheslined. He just got leveled, and he's slow to get up. We're going to take a look at that replay. See, number nine just completely going after Dalton Rocha. That's Isaac Sequeira, the senior. No card. And he escapes without a card. He basically tackled him. He threw a, he threw a hip check. I wish that football team tackled that well. Now it's Texera pushed from behind, no whistle. Come on, don't try to do it all. Get rid of it, move it, move it. Oh, good ball. Corner. Now that's a corner. Correct? Corner. Or are they going to call a goal kick? Corner kick for the boxers, what should be their second of the afternoon. We have a we have a boxer down. Paulo Romalo is down in the in the box. It's a lot of confusion. Nobody knows what the heck is going on anymore. We're going to take a look at the replay. You're watching 15 on the right side of your screen there. and He just, he got his foot stomped on by number 19. Wind that back again. Here we go. So you're watching 15 right there on the, on the side of your screen. Right there. Right there. If that's not intent, I don't know what is. And that's in the box. If I'm not mistaken, that should be a PK. Happened in the box. The refs missed it. And now, now we've got two refs surrounding the group of players in the box. Low corner kick deflected, still loose, and Dartmouth able to clear out. It's going to be an interesting call right on the line. They're not seriously going to call this on Brockton. Here is another look at the replay. What you're watching right there, the boxer thrown to the ground. And somehow it's an Indian ball. By the way, side note, excellent work by our crew today. All star cast. In the truck, bringing you all the replays with the visuals supplied by the prolific cinematographer, Aaron Tebow. Mike the Postman Simmons, graphics, replay, audio, and directing. He's got six hands, for Christ's sake. Well, things are going to get really, really chippy on the field if the referees do not get this thing under control. And there was, there was 
about a five minute delay at the start of this game so we could get sandbags on the net. And sandbags on nets that weigh close to 250 pounds. Timeout called on the field. Dartmouth's going to take their timeout. 9.57 left. In the first half, Brockton leading the Indians by one. It's been an interesting yeah, afternoon. Being up here, these guys have missed at least four legit calls. I mean, Cameron, the goalie down there, a stop of the foot over there, a goal kick that wasn't brought into a The list ball, of... And then somebody getting shoved from behind. So just within five minutes... Mistakes. And that, that is, that's, that's within a five-minute period, five minutes the refs missed about four... four Four calls. calls. Dalton Roche getting steamrolled. Out of bounds, one might add. Yeah. The corner kick that should have been that wasn't. The stomp of the foot. The stomp of the foot that was very, very clear even before we took a look at the slow motion and replay. And then Jalen DeRosa was taken down from behind, and it was a, a Brockton penalty. One of the perks of being up in the press box is that we get to take a look at the instant replays to see how gross these missed calls are. Now we've got a throw in and there's a ball on the field. It's been a wacky week here at Marciano Stadium. Book ended by the Columbus Day PK fiasco. And this wild affair. Seems like ages ago at this point when the boxers played Mansfield here on Columbus Day. That was only five days ago. And now we have a whistle about 30 seconds after the fact on yet another flop. Here's a look at here's a look at that replay. She ran over. Tyler D'Souza and Dylan Senra of the Indians. They're in the wrong business. They should be in the dairy industry. Because they are absolutely milking calls out of these refs. Offsides against the Indians. Very clear. Number three, D'Souza was offsides. About seven and a half minutes left in the first half. Brockton hanging on to that one nothing lead. It's going to be a boxer throw in. Senior captain Rafael Raposo getting ready to come back into the game.
That's Romalo up to Gomes. Gomes looking for Rodriguez a little bit too far, but able to be kept in. Was Riven Rodriguez on the far side, forcing a Brockton throw in. Anthony Nevis joining Raposo as a substitution for the Indians. Romalo missing this one and Dartmouth taking advantage as Romalo's dragged down to the turf. And yet another Indian free kick on a boxer that was taken down. <laughs> Gomes sending this one up to Leonardo Texera who is run into and now taken down and holding his knee is Leonardo Texera. Holding his right knee as the clock stops with 5.11 left. Since Leonardo Texera and head coach Arminio Furtado is fired up on the Brockton sideline. It's going to be Riven Rodriguez in for Leonardo Texera. Texera favoring his right leg. Throw in for Dartmouth right in front of the Broughton bench. Now it'll be a Broughton throw in right in front of their own bench. High leg on Andrade. So free kick for the Indians from their own seven yard line and that's going straight into the Dartmouth bench. Rodriguez with it, off to Andrade. Andrade's cross looking for number 20 on the far side, Odair Montero. Boxer throw in with about three minutes left. Rodriguez can't catch up with this one and another whistle against the boxers on a what seems like a phantom call. Now 
This one sent out of play. Be a goal kick for the boxers as Brian Deleuze comes into the game. What a what a nice official. He told the he told the Dartmouth coach, if you take Dylan Mello out, sub him out right now. I will spare him from giving him a card. Is that even allowed? Like if somebody does something egregious enough to earn a card, especially in this game. Hard cross broken up by the head of number 14 of the Indians, Ethan Pava. Now it's Andrade and Jonathan Rodriguez with some space and it's cleared out. It'll be a corner kick and there's an Indian down. We're gonna we got the replay going right now. It was number twenty two knocking it out of bounds for the Indians, Timothy Hawk. And he took a sliding Rodriguez to the back of the head, gets up like nothing, so it'll be a goal kick. The second missed corner kick call for these officials. Rodriguez goes down. Are they gonna call this one on Dartmouth? So here's that replay again of what should have been a corner kick. You know, Rodriguez didn't even have his leg anywhere near the ball. Right there is where Hawk gets a hold of it. Free kick right on net. Oh. Off the post and it's still loose. And the refs say that it stayed out after hitting the bottom of the post. Replay. Replay. The press box oh. screaming for a replay. Let the bodies hit the floor, no whistles. And this one's gonna be a boxer goal is a couple of Indians got a hold of it. And let's take a look at this replay. There's the cross, Rodriguez misses it and knocked in by number 22, Timothy Hawk, who makes up for the missed corner kick by putting one in his own net. It should be credited. If we could wind that back one more time to see who gets credit for that goal. Jonathan Rodriguez, although I'm not sure that he touched that in front of the Dartmouth net. The whistles blow, and a wild, crazy first half has come to an end. The score is 2-0, Brockton on top of Dartmouth. Stay tuned, folks, because if the second half is half as wild as that first half, it's going to be worth a watch. 2-0 boxers over the Indians at halftime. We're going to step aside and take a short break and bring you second half action right after this. Hey, you. Yeah, you. 
getting that college education. What are you going to do? Graduate and take some office job? Be like everybody else. Or will you dare do something different? Like be a teacher. You could be my teacher. You got the skills. The smarts. Yes, you. You could be the teacher I never forget. That would be cool. Does that corporate job even have recess? What are you going to make of yourself? What are you going to make of me? So, I just moved in with his family, and it's embarrassing. The little one, he likes to go outside and crawl around in the giant litter box. I don't know what he's doing. I mean, I was born, and I knew how to use the litter box. Look at that. That's disgusting. Oh, poop already. You're making me nervous. Oh, okay, I can't look at this anymore. I really hope he grows out of this, for his sake. Ladies, gentlemen, boys, and girls, soccer fans of all ages, welcome back into a wet Marciano Stadium for second half action between the Brockton Boxers and the Dartmouth Indians. It's been a wacky first half. A few missed calls right there, a hit crossbar, and an own goal. And that's where we stand. It's 2 nothing Boxers coming into this second half. And it has been a wild one. Lots of missed calls. At least four in the span of five minutes. They all should have been against Brockton. Or should have been for Brockton. Dartmouth has another free kick just inside midfield directly on the Brockton goal. And the defense able to clear it out. We've seen just about everything. Dylan Mello was going to be carded at the end of the first half. And the ref said, if you substitute him out right now, we won't give him a card. Now we have a push against Brockton. been at least two missed corner kick opportunities for the boxers that the refs ruled were out of bounds off of Brockton that clearly weren't. So Roach is going to pick this one up. Roach has gotten steamrolled out of play by the Dartmouth Indians. No whistle there. That has been just... A wacky day here as the rain picks up. Number six into the game for his first action of the day. That is Brendan Gomes, a senior captain. Rain picking up here. Minus the rain falling from the sky. And otherwise, good day for soccer. 65 degrees. Not a lot of wind. Gusts of about three miles an hour to the southeast. We're up to 92% humidity. Up from... About 90 at kickoff, 63% dew point, and 30.18 inches of pressure in the air. And it's going to be a boxer free kick on the 10-yard line, about half a yard away from inside the goalie box. Directly on net and picked off by Ribeiro. Owen Ribeiro has had a fairly strong game. Offsides? We have an offsides when no boxer was within five yards of the of the Indians' back line. Don't 
Now the referee's going after Jonathan Rodriguez, yelling at the Brockton coach. What did he say, control him? Jonathan is about as laid back as they come. He's oh, yeah, yeah. Now it's Andrade on the far side, and he's tackled from behind. Are you shitting me? And no call. Andrade's still down. So it's a corner kick for the boxers, what should be about their 10th of the game. It's only the second, it's Odeir Montero. We should have had two PKs by now for Brockton. So we had a little stomp in the box that the referees conveniently missed. Andrade was just taken down in the box to no sound of whistles. Oh no. We should be checking the sandbag. <laughs> and it by no means is it the players that have let this game get out of hand. We have an offsides against the boxers. Five minutes into the second half, still two nothing. Brockton on, on top of the Dartmouth Indians. Brockton getting the victory in the earlier matchup of these teams at Dartmouth. Three to two, the final score of that one. Yeah, right over the back. Right over the back and no one's going to call. Get the ball. Balls all over the place. Yeah, we got two down there. Nope. Oh, that's bad. Who's, who's the guy who's right here? I need, I need somebody down there to go play on. Leonardo Texera was taken down. He is not yet returned to action. Still favoring that right knee. This is Montero. Up for Riven Rodriguez and, and offsides against Brockton. This one trickling out of bounds off of Dartmouth. Or off of Brockton, rather. Indian throwing. Deep throw still loose in the box, headed out by Mascarenos. Boxer taken down, and Brockton finally going to have a free kick. As Montero was taken down. Oh, 
This one knocked out of bounds by Riven Rodriguez. Indian throw in. Rocha diving on this one. About 30 minutes to go. Two nothing boxers over Dartmouth. Rodriguez taken down and we're gonna have a whistle as the tackle was from behind and no card. Rene Montero going to take the free kick for the boxers. Yet another missed call for these referees. Montero right on net. And it's going to be picked out of the air by Owen Ribeiro. Excellent kick by Odair Montero. Ravin Rodriguez was threatening to head that one. Unable to get a piece of it. First goal scored in the 28th minute of the first half. Seems like ages ago. When was the second goal scored? Um, somewhere in the last few. The, the second goal scored in the stoppage time of the first half. Maybe about 45 seconds left in the first half. You're going to have a dangerous play called uh, against Brian Deleuze. The refs haven't called that all game magically. It's the first one. This one loose and a jumping Dalton Roach able to pick it up. The captain, Rafael Raposa, went in to kick that with three boxers right in front of him and then stops and says, hey, ref, they're not 10 yards away from the ball. Well, then why would you try to kick it? Why wouldn't you wait for them to back up 10 yards? <laughs> Head coach Furtado. Yelling at the refs that this is going to get out of hand. This is going to get dangerous. And the ref said, oh, I agree, I agree. Now free kick for the boxers. Raposo taken down from behind, no call out here, Montero. And Junior Gomes working a give and go on the near sideline, out of bounds off of Dartmouth. Here's 
Here Gomes with it. Driving Rodriguez to Montero. Montero back to Gomes. And it's sent back to Rochas. Brockton wasting time off the clock here. Now it's Rivan Rodriguez. Just a little bit too much on it. And the middle sent back across midfield by Dartmouth. And Rocha picking this one up. He's going to roll it off to number six, Brennan Gomes. Yet another boxer taken down. This one, Jonathan Rodriguez, and Brockton will have a free kick just inside midfield. Taken by Claudio Mascarenas. Short kick to Junior Gomes back to Mascarenas, who makes a nice move. Now Rodriguez taken down. You can see the short kick in. Are they not going to give him a card here? Then there's a timeout that isn't a timeout. And no card. The referees are really letting this one get out of hand. That should have been Raposo's second yellow automatic ejection. Of course, he was the player responsible as we take a look at that play, the blatant takedown of Jonathan Rodriguez away from the ball. Raposo was the player responsible for the stomp on the foot and the blatant takedown. Now it's Gomes to Rodriguez. Can't catch up with it. Well, you never want to see the refs determine a game, and to this point, Brockton has been the better team. But should the refs have called a fair game as Edson Lopes, and this one's going to roll just wide. Edson Lopes with an opportunity. It will be a goal kick for the Indians. That one just off the outside of the post. Connor Wilden back into the game. A whistle from 30 yards away, and it'll be a boxer free kick. Oh, 
Now Luis Spinola fighting for it. Hey. Lopes tripped hey. up and. This one doesn't look like it's going to be a card either. Number two of the Indians, Shane Rose, junior defender, taking down Edson Lopes from behind, not even going for the ball. As you can see there on the replay. Now a shot directly on net, kicked out by Ribeiro. And out of play. Junior Gomes throwing this one in. We are halfway through the second half. Two nothing boxers over the Indians and Folks, this has been a wild one. For no other fact than the referees. We should have had probably about four or five yellow cards on Dartmouth by now. There's a case Maybe, maybe one for Brockton. Be a, it'll be a corner for Dartmouth. I don't know about this one. It's going to be number 15. Rafael Raposo, the captain, taking this corner kick. Raposo responsible for a blatant takedown of Jonathan Rodriguez and a stomp on a foot in the box that should have resulted in a penalty kick. Neither of which were called, or carded rather. It's two yellow cards results in an automatic ejection and a suspension from the next game. Rodriguez having his jersey pulled and no whistle there. This one shielded out of play by Dartmouth. They'll have a throw in. Romalo clearing this one to Rodriguez, and now it's Leon, Leonardo Texera, and Dartmouth's going to clear it out. This might be a corner kick, and it will be a corner kick for the boxers, and the goalie just hurt himself trying to get to that ball. Clock stops with 17.36 to go. Owen Ribeiro just slid on the turf. It's the left knee of Owen Ribeiro. So we're going to take a look at exactly what happened here. When Excellent awareness by Ribeiro to see that that was going to result in a corner kick. And he just, he might have hyperextended his knee. Of course, a wet surface, you know what we think happened is Ribeiro didn't stop in time and his left knee, which was on the bottom of that slide, hit the track, sliding over the drainage grates. And there's going to be an in injury substitution. Bailey Oliveira, the senior goalkeeper. The only other goalkeeper listed on the Indians roster. And this one gets... 
even crazier. Ribeiro has had a fairly strong game. Now, athletic director Kevin Caro is going to join the injury party on the opposing goal line. So this has been what can only be described as a wild one. Crazy week here at Marciano Stadium kicking off Columbus Day against Mansfield as Ribeiro's going to walk off under his own power. And he's in a lot of pain. He's going to go back down to the ground here. Here's the stomp by Raposo. Right there is Paulo Romalo went down. And here is the blatant takedown of Jonathan Rodriguez. That that would have resulted in two yellow cards as Owen Ribeiro is in a lot of pain on the beyond the goal line. He is in a lot of pain, wincing and crying and is head trainer Jerry Connor going to bring out the cart and Owen Ribeiro will be done for the day. So Ribeiro can't even put any weight on his left leg. Here's a look at the couple of goals scored. Leonardo Texera to Riven Rodriguez, who just was able to chip it home. And then the own goal credited to Jonathan Rodriguez. It was chipped in by Timothy Hawk. The boxers try to stay warm here is Ribeiro's parents have gone down on the field and the Dartmouth coach there as well as the concern now for Owen Ribeiro who has had a very strong game in net, a strong season for the 7-2-2 two two Indians, unable to put any weight on his left leg. We're going to take a look at the almost goal. The official scorer, Felix Nieves, has said that that one hit the top of the bar, the bottom of the bar, and bounced down onto the red line to be a goal. It has to be clearly over the red line, which it wasn't, as it bounced on the line right there. And back up and out. As this one. It's going to get crazy. We're uh, still waiting for play to resume after the injury to Owen Ribeiro. Who tried to save what has now turned into a corner kick for the boxers from going over the end line and sliding on the wet turf and we think what happened was he just kept sliding and his left knee made contact with the drainage grates in the track. And Ribeiro is done for the day. And when play resumes, we'll see Bailey Oliveira, the senior goalkeeper of the Indians. 2-0 boxers, 17-36.
to go in the second half. Now it looks like play is going to resume the Come on, boys. thoughts and concern is with the junior goalkeeper of Dartmouth, Owen Ribeiro, who is in a heck of a lot of pain. So it's a corner kick for the boxers. As Ribeiro was unable to save that, it's going to be Louis Spinola taking it. Odair Montero in the area as well. So it's Bailey Oliveira in net wearing a black warm up shirt. High kick is going to be headed through the uprights from Dartmouth, and it'll be a corner kick. Low kick, and this one's going to be picked by Oliveira. This one sent all the way down to Dalton Rocha. Rocha wasting some time off the clock now with about 16.45 to go. Now a dangerous play and a boxer slow to get up. It's Jonathan Rodriguez who just took a kick to the stomach. <laughs> number, number 17, Dylan Mello just trying to save it from out of bounds. The intent was there and just full blown one time shot into the coach. Odeir Montero knocking this one out of bounds. It's right off the coach's knee. You saw there on the replay. Texera intended for Rodriguez doesn't connect. Boxers at 12-0-1, looking to continue the winning streak. Oh. Oh. Rodriguez unable to get the one-time shot off. Starosa and Boxer taken down, no call, and now Odair Montero to Texera, and he's gonna score, Leonardo Texera. So on the replay, it's Jonathan Rodriguez chipping it to Odair Montero to Leonardo Texera. The rare double assist. So it's Leonardo Texera from Odair Montero and Jonathan Rodriguez. Three nothing boxers with just north of 14 minutes left. And we have a timeout called. So it's Leonardo Texera from Jonathan Rodriguez and Odair Montero to put the boxers up by three with 14 16 to go. Owen Ribeiro 
the starting junior goalkeeper of the Dartmouth Indians has yet to move off of the trainer's cart as he took a hard fall and slid right into the track and injured his left knee, unable to put any weight on that left knee. Romero has now left the field of play and it looks like he is going to be put into the back of an ambulance. So thoughts and concern with Owen Ribeiro who is been one of the few Indians to have a very good game today. Unable to put any weight on his left knee. And so it is Bailey Oliveira standing in for Ribeiro at goal. Just under 14 minutes to go. Three nothing boxers. Goal scored by Riven Rodriguez. Leonardo Texera. Dartmouth with the ball. This one off of Brockton is going to be dove on by Dalton Rocha. Who got the, who got the goals? Uh, 17, 9, and 18. Jonathan Rodriguez with a goal and an assist today. Dalton Rocha has had an excellent game in the boxer net. No problems with his saves and whenever he has to dive on top of a oh, yeah, yeah. loose ball and now it's it's in Lopes oh. and it's going to go just wide and a corner kick for the boxers is Lopes looking up to the sky. It's Leonardo Texera across a perfect pass to Edson Lopes and that will be a corner kick. Odair Montero will do the honors. Montero with an assist already today. Sending this one out of play, so a Dartmouth goal kick. That's Rodriguez. And Rodriguez gonna be called for a penalty. No, oh, that was all ball. Rodriguez got all ball of that one and Dartmouth selling the call. Thank 
Lincoln Cena into the game in place of Jonathan Rodriguez. Rodriguez, goal and an assist on the day. About 10 minutes left here in the second half. 3 nothing. Brockton, the other two goals, one by Leonardo Texera and one by Rivan Rodriguez. Now Lopes and Texera and Lopes causing trouble and oh, off the football crossbar for Leonardo Texera. Dartmouth just wasn't aware where that ball was. Edson Lopes deflecting it to Texera who just put it a little bit high, hands on the head, looking up towards the heavens. Throwing deep in boxer territory for the Indians. Long throw. Rocha can't get to it, and that's a Dartmouth goal. Seven. Number seven, Anthony Nevis. Threw Rocha touched that, so I think that'll be Neves unassisted. Rocha deflecting it just, just enough off of his arm. So never say die for the Dartmouth Indians here. 3-1. Brockton, just under eight minutes to go. Oliver picking this one up. Whistle in a stoppage and the coach is going to be showing a card, the Dartmouth coach, Josh Silva. One would assume for mouthing off. Free kick for the boxers, the yellow card to Josh Silva, the head coach of the Dartmouth Indians. Presumably for mouthing off to the officials. <laughs> Referee taking a long time to write this one down. One might assume he's writing down exactly what Coach Silva said to file a report with the MIAA. Well, certainly an interesting little factoid. Might be true, might not. We're going to fact check it. But we were just told that if a coach receives a card, he's going to take two hours of anger management classes before he can coach another game. Oh. 
And a boxer down and a free kick. Leonardo Texera is the boxer down. You know, it's amazing that the first card of the day went to the coach. It's a free kick deep in Indian territory, a direct shot presumably coming up. Odair Montero and Junior Gomes. Odair Montero right on net and sa saved by Oliveira and on top of the apron, so it'll be a corner kick for the boxers. Can't ask for much of a better shot than that as this one's spinning off of Oliveira's hands and up hanging on the apron. It's gonna be Odair Montero taking this corner kick. Low and headed out by the goal scorer Anthony Nevis for the Dartmouth Indians. Now Edson Lopes. Back to Claudio Mascarenas. Now Lopes has it taken off his foot, center back across midfield for Brendan Gomes. Brendan up to Junior. Junior with some room to work with. Off to Lewis Spinola. Now all the way back to Rocha. Broughton wasting time off the clock here. Now it's Lopes on the far side. Room to work with, then Texera is going to be off sides. Yeah, you know, the refs have a case for an offsides there. Looked closer in real time, but the truth is shown in instant replay. So under four minutes left. Three to one boxer lead over the Indians. Dalton Roger picking this one up and it is Dovin on again. Dovin, spelled D-O-V-E-N. And we're gonna have a card given to Leonardo Texera? Yellow card given to Leonardo Texera. Jonathan Rodriguez will come to him Oh, that's a that's a soft call. That's a soft call. Texera was falling to the ground. Stuck his arms out to break his fall, and it looks like he might have got some of Raposo's jersey. They're gonna call a card for that? Just the second card of the year for the Brockton Boxers. All hell has broken loose here at Marciano Stadium. Now we have Brendan Gomes taking down a Dartmouth Indian.
There's two minutes officially left. Why not back again? It's going to be Brendan Gomes, I believe, with a yellow. Brendan Gomes just launching into the... That is deserved. It's Brendan Gomes on the yellow for a flying knee. That's a flying knee from Brendan Gomes. It'll be a free kick for the Indians. They're going to take another look at it. Six right there. Straight foot. That's, that's a flying knee. Taking out Mitchell Taradash, the sophomore midfielder for the Indians. And this has only gotten so out of hand because the referees didn't put a stop to it earlier in this game. Rafael Raposo should have been canned. Is this one sent high and wide? He should have had two yellow cards, an automatic ejection for a stomp and a takedown from behind. The coach has been completely mouthing off to the officials. He was given a yellow card. Dylan Mello has had a few takedowns from behind. And Timothy Hawk. He's had a couple of takedowns from behind, as well as scoring a goal for the Brockton Boxers. So this one has flown completely off the rails. Now Rodriguez in a foot race is picked up by Bailey Oliveira, who is doing a fine job in place of Owen Ribeiro, who has left Marciano Stadium, and Rodriguez with a jersey pull, and a takedown from behind, and it's gonna be a penalty kick for the Brockton Boxers. That's gonna be that's gonna be at least a yellow. At least a, it should be a red. He shouldn't be thrown out of the game. But now he's just giving him the PK, so there's not a problem. So Rodriguez is going to be awarded a penalty kick. <laughs> Bailey Oliveira and Net. The, the two referees are talking. On the far side, determining what this call should be. I think one of the refs thought that this shouldn't be a penalty kick. So it's Rodriguez and Oliveira. Head to head. Rodriguez in. His shot, bottom left corner, and that's a goal. Bailey Oliveira is pissed. He just punched the post. He was in. He was in the. He was in the right area, as you can see here on the replay, and just didn't extend his arm enough. So Jonathan Rodriguez with two goals today. Didn't know the circus was in town this weekend. This one is completely flown off the rails. We're out of hand. Nobody knows what the heck is going on. We've seen what? Four yellows now? Three yellow cards. Could have been could have been ten if the referees called anything in the first half. Then there was the crazy situation right at the end of the first half where 
the Dartmouth coach, Josh Silva, was told if you don't substitute Rafael Raposa out and gave him the opportunity to sub him out, he'll give him a card. So what are you going to take? A substitution in the last two minutes of the first half for a yellow card? Real hard choice there. It's 4-1 boxers. Maybe about 30 seconds left. This one, I don't know. This this might be the craziest game we've seen here at Marciano Stadium in the last five years. Now it's number two dragged down to the turf. No whistle. Dalton Rocha sending this one back towards midfield. Not much time here left at all. You've got to be about 15 seconds left. This game, in all, for all intents and purposes, is over. You might as well just end it. Brockton's going to move to 13-0-1 on the year. And now another opportunity for the boxers. A cross in... Takes air in the box and it's kicked home by Jonathan Rodriguez for the hat trick. That's going to be an assist for Lincoln Cena. going to be officially an unassisted goal by Jonathan Rodriguez for the hat trick. And now and again was Rodriguez taken down. This one sent back in and now it's Cena and that's going to be a corner that should be a corner kick. The score is five to one is right here. The goalie touches it right there. That should be a corner kick. Not the first corner kick that was called a goal kick today. It's about the fourth or fifth. So Dalton Roach is sending it back towards midfield. Now it's Rodriguez again. And he's taken down, no call. Whistles blow, and this game has thankfully come to an end. A wild one here at Marciano Stadium. The final score, 5-1. to one. The boxers with the victory over the Dartmouth Indians. Brockton moving to 13-0-1. On the year, Dartmouth moving to 7-3 and 2. The scoring summary, a lone goal for Dartmouth. And that was scored by Timothy Hawk. Uh, for Brockton in no particular order, Leonardo Texera, Riven Rodriguez, and a hat trick for Jonathan Rodriguez. Rodriguez adding an assist on the day, four-point day for Jonathan Rodriguez. He's my game ball. Three goals and an assist for Jonathan Rodriguez. Five to one, the final score is a penalty kick in the last couple of minutes. Sealed the deal for Jonathan Rodriguez in the Brockton Boxers. And... That will just about do it. 5-1 the final score. The Boxers get the win to move to 13-0-1 on the year. Dartmouth moving to 7-3-2. and For everyone here at Brockton Community Access, I'm Mad Dog Matt Nelson, and we will see you next game.